Osama comes up to you and she says, Boy, you are so toxic. Do you want to date for a couple of years? And you say, Okay. Now, as you're dating, she continues to beta thighs you. You should be like this. You should be like that. You should stream less. You should go to the gym less. Spend time with me. I need this. I need that. And over time, you become weaker. Right? You actually start shrinking, right? And your peep is a part of you. Like, now you're at her size. Right? And now that you're at her size, you're in SJW. Now you're sad, and she starts thinking, right? She starts thinking. She thinks, oh my God, this is not the guy I married. He's so different. And this is happening in her subconscious, because consciously she likes who you became. But in her subconscious, she says, how am I going to feed my kids? What am I going to do? What happens if there's a recession? And, da -da 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 -da. and she starts saying, you cannot take care of me. And it's repeated in her sleep every night and it torments her for years. The question is, does she feel safe? No, she doesn't. So when she meets a Chad over here, after a year of being tormented and lied to, she thinks, I didn't marry this guy. He lied to me for my vagina. She feels cheated. You lied to me. You're not who I think. I thought you were based. I thought you were this. And she goes to cheat because her subconscious felt cheated on for years. So technically, she did not cheat first. Your weak posture in life tormented her for a year or two or more, depending on how resilient she is. That's the name in Chad Fluoride Fountain.